Hi, I'm Suzanne, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. Welcome to another Monday Makes video on my blog and YouTube channel. For today's card, I'm using the Beautiful Bouquet Stamp Set by Stampin' Up! I am inking up my stamp with Daffodil Delight and then with a sponge dauber, I have daubed on Flirty Flamingo around the edges. I am channeling my inner Hawaiian here. <laughs> I actually don't have any Hawaiian blood in me, <laughs> but um, I did Google it and um, looked up Hawaiian flowers because these flowers actually really reminded me of Hawaiian flowers for whatever reason, some, something tropical. So I went with yellow and sort of that corally flirty flamingo pink. Okay, so stamping um, on a one layer card is uh, difficult if you don't do the masking, especially if you wanted to do cluster bunches of flowers like these. So by masking off the one flower or all the flowers really um, in the, the bunch, the first one that you stamp down and mask is the one that is actually going to be in the forefront. So you're kind of working backwards, if that makes sense. So the second color combination I used was Daffodil Delight and Tempting Turquoise for this six pointed floral here. And again, I masked it off. This technique is labor intensive. First of all, you have to stamp on the masking paper and then fussy cut them out. And then you have to stamp and mask and stamp and mask and stamp and mask. So for all different color combinations and that sort of thing, you, you know, as long as you want to do this clustering of florals, this is what you kind of got to do, especially on a one layer card. Okay. So I am eventually going to speed this up here. So you've seen the technique. So now you should just be able to see me stamping my uh, leaves are in lemon lime twist and bermuda no tempting turquoise so i kept the same blue there and then my third color combination was pink pirouette and wisteria wonder so for the small little flower and i just kept on stamping and masking and i created two clusters one in the top left and one in the bottom right. And I revealed some of the flowers and then I eventually did go back and add it, filled in the corners and everything. So this is a birthday card for my sister who uh, turned 57 today. I used the Memento ink, black ink for the sentiment. I think what I could have done here is actually stamped the larger flower right behind the sentiment, but I didn't think of it until after. So it's kind of, that's what I would have done anyway. If I was to redo this card, I would put the sentiment right smack dab over top of that initial flower in the center, but I like the way it looked anyway. So the centers were stamped a full strength of the Daffodil Delight. And that's it. Basically use some Tombow mono adhesive for the card front. And then I used a little bit of Flirty Flamingo cardstock and uh, to mat it and then use my Thick Whisper White card base. This is my go-to card base these days use my bone folder to crease that edge and adhered it all together and that um, aside from a little bit of Winkasala on those initial big Hawaiian flowers that is my simple one layer card for you today so thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you again soon bye
Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the maple leaf to visit my website or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.